There are some NGOs working with uh, Dr. Saint Dear here, and then Dr. Saint Dear also provided some health education for uh, for the youngsters uh, about the community health workers, and some people they uh, go back to Penn State and sell their community, but some are staying in the refugee camp and serve their com community in the refugee camp. Uh, there are some NGOs, NGOs working with the health and welfare department and provided some program like a backpack team to go around in the IDP area and to provide health service to the uh, patients. And some NGOs support uh, some mobile health clinics in the IDP area for the health workers to, uh, to work for the patients. Now it is difficult for transport on high border to carry the medicines and medical supplies uh, to cross into Burma. The IDPs people cannot uh, receive adequate medicines. So sometimes when they face with uh, a disease or a landmine victim, they will face troubles to transport them up to the border. And the medical supplies uh, is not enough for the IDP people. This is, is malaria and diarrhea sometimes. Um, uh, the common disease is uh, malaria. And sometimes they face with uh, mind victims. And when the SPDC launch operation, they face with gunshot and they, they cannot uh, carry them up to the clinic and then they die <laughs> on the way. I cannot establish uh, in the SPDC era our health and relief organization uh, and uh, with the support of the NGOs they set up some clinics in the IDP area. No, they, they cannot uh, support medicine. Uh, throughout the area. And then really uh, the people face with problems when they suffer the disease.